lower driving costs are good news for this holiday weekend, but there's bad news for parts of the southeast. A tropical storm warning for coastal areas from Florida to South Carolina. The National Weather Service says a system in the Atlantic will become tropical storm barrel before the weekend is out. So to talk about that and the 2012 hurricane season, we bring in Dave Bernard, CBS's hurricane consultant at WFOR in Miami. Dave, good morning. Good morning, Jeff. Tell us about barrel. Well, we're talking... All right, I will. And in fact, you're right. The warnings are up right now. The Hurricane Center is classifying it as subtropical, and that just means it's not a purely tropical system. It's moving to the west at around five miles per hour. Winds right now 45 miles per hour, and it's about 260 miles east of Charleston, South Carolina. This is going to move quick to the south and west tonight, and we think by Sunday night and early Monday morning, making landfall as a tropical storm in northeast Florida or possibly along the Georgia coastline. That's going to mean a wet and windy holiday weekend for these areas, including the South Carolina coast. And even in the next week, it may turn around and reform as a tropical storm somewhere near Cape Hatteras, North Carolina. So uh, not the news you want to get going into the uh, holiday weekend, but we don't anticipate the storm to become a hurricane. Dave, what are we looking at for the hurricane season this year, which kicks off on June 1st, as you know? Right. Well, I guess right now the best guess that we can talk about when we look at numbers is that we're looking at an average hurricane season. And that usually consists of, say, 11 storms, six hurricanes, and also two major hurricanes. That would be below the 19 storms we had last year. And uh, one of the big factors in that, Jeff, is this developing El Nino, warm water in the Pacific. And that leads to lots of rising air in the Pacific, lots of thunderstorms there. In fact, they'll probably see more storms in the Pacific than the Atlantic. But on the other hand, that leads to disruptive wind shear in the Atlantic, and uh, that's bad for storms. Uh, they do not like to see wind shear. That is not favorable for strong storm formation. Dave Bernard from WFOR. Appreciate it. Thank you very much.